when I was asked to be the discussant on this project, I was I spent a bit of time trying to figure out what what angle I should take um, and what should be my response. And I finally settled on uh, kind of taking a little bit of a step back. And for especially people who are not familiar with the field of political management, kind of outline why I think it's important that we are now at a point where we are moving toward having a, a handbook and kind of provide what I think is a bit of a checklist in terms of making sure we hit some of the important components that are necessary to move our field from what it is or what it's not and towards something that is more an established discipline. Uh, many years ago, I see one of my colleagues is here. Um, he was here. Professor Wilson was here. Uh, so you may have, oh, yeah, I see you. You probably have a better memory than me, but many years ago, uh, a bunch of people at Carleton University decided to establish a political management program. It's still the only one in Canada and one of the very few, um, few in the world. And since then, we've been grappling with the fact that, okay, so what is this, what is this we're trying to uh, teach? What is this program? And for, for many, many ways or many times, what we started to do was to not say what political management is, but start our discussion when we have like the orientation talking about what it's not. And we spent a lot of time saying, well, it's not public administration. It's not political science. It's not business management. It's something completely different. And I think that's what the handbook needs to be uh, doing. And I think there, there are some elements there for sure uh, that are contained in it is to really get to an understanding of what is our distinct object of research. You know, there are definitions. Um, Jennifer has offered one, but we really need to start with a get to a place where we kind of know what exactly it is that we are researching what is our topic specifically and spend a lot of time and i probably that would probably be the first chapter of the book into reflecting uh the, the, our distinct object of research and this is not this is not this is something that's been done before like Lots of you, I, remember, I recall some names that have been involved in the process that led to the establishment of political marketing. We're basically, we're, we're trying, we're following the footstep of that, of that journey in, in terms of trying not recreating, but this is what political marketing was very effective in doing and becoming a discipline is that very early on, people got to understand what is what was political marketing. And why, we, why political marketing was different than political science. Um, and, um, and that kind of set, I think, the discipline uh, for success. And I would like to really encourage whoever will be involved in this thing that we, we, we achieve the same thing. I think one thing that's missing, well, I guess it's hard to know what's missing or not because it's just an outline. Uh, but I think that uh, as part of that process, and again, using political marketing as, a, as an example, but I think political management would benefit from it, is that I think we need to spend some time addressing the nuts and bolts of, our, of, of the field and providing an understanding of what is different. How do, we, how do we approach these nuts and bolts and components of the political life um, in a different way, in a particularly political management way? Examples of that, just because of my background, is that polling, for example, public opinion research or public opinion in general has been part of the study of political science from the beginning. Political marketing has a different understanding of how we deal with public opinion. And I do believe that we need to get to, that's another example that we need to get to a place where we do have an understanding of what is the role of public opinion in political management how we understand that, that is different than political marketing and different than political science. And there's a whole bunch of different uh, example of that. One of the 
one of the uh, chapters actually is right in line with what I have in mind, which is the one about political, political leadership. Again, leadership is the nuts and bolts of, of uh, the study of the field, uh, but political, political leadership in, in, in the context of um, political management is different than the other. So I think that's one of the, that's one of the thing that we, um, we should spend a lot of time on. The other thing that we need to do, and, and it's a real challenge because there's a lot of people who do political management, but it's it, because it's an amorphous kind of disparate group, um, unlike others, there's a lot of accu- accumulated knowledge um, that is out there and a lot of accumulated case studies or pl- applications that are out there that maybe as part of the exercise, we should really use that opportunity not to obviously put them all in, but almost make make sense, make sure that we have a bunch of references there. I think it will be very important to kind of find a way to um, congeal and get all that information in that one place. Because that's, again, that's that's the path to a discipline. That's a path to be a path to somewhere that we could actually say we had we have specialists in political management. And this is where it goes. Again, an example is when I teach in uh, political management, like there's the very good keeners, the, 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 the students that, you know, send you an email in July asking, well, is there a whole bunch of books that you would suggest I read? And I don't have that. Like, you know, I, it would be a very um, personal list that I, I could provide. But again, that's another thing that this effort should lead us towards being able to do this. Communication a little bit. I've been in, I'm also in the communication department and we've struggled with that too. I, you know, I've been in the department for 20 years and back then that was the same thing. The, the, the very good students wanted to, to have the lists, like, you know, the, 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 the works that they need to read to be ready. And we've done some we've done some headway into that direction. And I think it's very important. We have a golden opportunity with Jennifer's book to try to actually uh, do that. One thing that Jennifer is really good. So I don't have any, well, I don't, I don't have any, uh, I never have any worries about whatever Jennifer does, but, and, but I'm happy that she mentioned that, you know what, like it is, a, it isn't, it is an applied field. You know, we, we are, um, we pride ourselves, especially, uh, when, when we teach it at, in, um, at Carleton, that it is a practical program designed to, um, designed to build skills. But, you know, we need, we need theories and concepts. I mean, we, you know, it's, 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 it's um, um, denying an opportunity for our students not to force them to or encourage them to think broader like just not yes yes you could we could we could spend a three weeks about how you write a press release but we still need a reflection about what's the objective of like what's the objective of a press release like like a broader so i think that's important to get there and i am very i'm very happy uh that i see in the outline from jennifer um that is something that uh, will be part of the exercise, and I think it'd be imp- it's going to make a real big contribution to establishing the field. The other benefit of um, of this book is that I think at, at the end we will get a common set of terminology. We, you know, we, we'll be able to talk to each other, which is important. Having terms that everybody in, everybody around this zoom call would understand and we when i say i would say a series of terms people would would agree and we'll have, we understand what that means and i think that's very important uh, for the field to um, to grow and establish itself um, i'm a quantitative person i like methodology i like methods um, i like you know spending hours talking about research designs and questionnaire development and all these kind of things. And I wonder if there's not a, a place in um, a place in this exercise to discuss 
common set, common approaches, common methods. Like how do we approach political management from a research perspective? Again, I'm not I'm not saying we have why well, you know we could have pages and pages of statistics and coefficient of correlation, and you know I will be the only one excited about this, but we don't need to do that to actually approach having a conversation about methods. And I think it's important. Again, it's part of the growth of a field that we kind of set a common um, understanding of methods and uh, ways to approach certain problems. And before Edward tells me I'm out of time, I'm just gonna close with the fact that um, it, it, it's still surprising to us, to me and people at Carlton that there's still very little institutional structure around political management. There's a, you know, the famous school is in um, uh, the US, uh, George Washington University. I can't recall when it was established, but we actually went there uh, very early on to kind of, um, to kind of get a sense of how they did what they did, very successful um, um, institution. But we need, you know, we need eventually to talk about and think about more, and it doesn't have to be just universities, but more places where we can gather like, like this, this event and kind of spread the word about the, the importance and the, the um, contribution we, we make in, um, trying to understand something that is very, very important. Like you can make the case, the first, op the opening paragraph of the book will be more than ever, political management is probably more important than public administration in shaping the direction of a country. Uh, I don't think we could have said that 30 years ago, or 40 years ago, but I think it's a reality. And anyway, at least in Canada, um, in the US, well, I don't really know what direct, who's, who's, is in charge of the direction of the U.S., so that's a separate <laughs> public and minimum public management. But I think we could we could actually open the book with that comment, and just by saying that, it will establish the importance of what we're trying to do because it is a reality. The management style, the staff, the appointed staff, is probably playing a larger role uh, than ever in um, in government and making sure they are well skilled and well um well educated is important so for that i commend jennifer and uh looking forward to discussing this further